Dear learners, welcome to EPG Part Shala. I am Munish Ahlawat from Institute of Hotel Management, Dehradun. Today we shall be taking module number five, titled Basic Menu Planning, under paper Food Production Operations and Management. The learning objectives of this module are defining the various terms related to menu planning. Importance of menu planning. Identify the types of menu. Various elements to be appraised while planning a menu. Define the term menu engineering. Know about balanced diet. Food pairing with wine. Introduction. In the past few decades, people have celebrated their special events such as a wedding, birthday, anniversary or an achievement in restaurants or hotels. Today, the scenario has changed. Now going out station is a new trend in our lives. Education and current trend of working has taken many of us away from our home. And mothers, part as a working woman, has an added duty of contributing to the family earnings. Nowadays, it has become a compulsion to eat out as the necessity of life. No longer people find time for the conventional fare of yesteryears and is contingent upon the caterer for the below mentioned. Food items to be prepared for special occasions like festival, fairs, etc. Meals for the place of work. Meals fit to be purchased from the eating joints after finishing up of daily works. Various sweets and snacks for evening munching with family. Pickling, preserves, jams, marmalades, etc. Volume feeding at various qualities like school, colleges, cafeteria, mess, hospitals. As the frequency of food consumption away from home increases, it simultaneously results in an increase in number of diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, obesity, heart failures, etc. This results in malnutrition as the number of meals consumed away from home increases. Thus it becomes responsibility of the caterers to plan nourishment enriching meals in the menu. Organizing menu is essential to dissolve this problem in our diets. Concept of balance in a menu and menu planning. Food categories as essential escort in menu organization. Adequate diet can only be planned if one has in-depth detailed understanding of dietary food allowances and extensive knowledge of composition of food categories. Yes, indeed, it is very tedious task, but it is obligatory to transform the nourishment requirement needs into what kind of food and in what amount it should be taken. Such information is useful in planning daily meals. This can be done by first characterizing and dividing food items into classified brackets called food categories. A food group containing the number of food items with some common characteristics and traits. The basic necessity of man is eating healthy and nutritional food which are rich in proteins, fats, carbohydrate, vitamins and minerals. Good health can only be achieved if one include them in their daily diet. Special diet planned for the lactating mothers, patient, recovering from illness, which are essential for their proper growth and development. Food is subcategorized on the basis of its function in the body. Functions of food Physiological function, social function, psychological function. In physiological function, 
energy yielding food contains carbohydrates fats and proteins social function body building foods proteins psychological function protective foods vitamins and minerals five food group system food groups cereals grains products for example rice wheat ragi bajra maize jowar barley rice flakes wheat flour main nutrients energy protein invisible fat vitamin b1 vitamin b2 folic acid iron fiber pulses and legumes bengal gram black gram green gram red gram lentil peas rajma soya bean and beans calcium iron fiber energy protein invisible fat vitamin b1 vitamin b2 folic acid milk and meat product milk milk curd skim milk cheese meat chicken liver fish egg meat protein fat vitamin b12 calcium proteins fat vitamin b2 fruits and vegetables fruits mango guava tomato ripe papaya orange sweet lime watermelon vegetables green leafy amaranth spinach drumstick leaves coriander leaves mustard leaves fenugreek leaves other vegetables carrots brinjal lady's finger capsicum beans onion cauliflower drumstick carotenoids vitamin c fiber invisible fats carotenoids vitamin b2 folic acid calcium iron fiber carotenoids folic acid calcium fiber fats and sugar fat butter ghee hydrogenated oils cooking oil like groundnut mustard coconut sugar sugar jaggery energy fat essential fatty acids energy it is essential for the following purpose nutritional adequacy to plan wholesome and nutrition menus to assess the nutritional diets of an individual which will help us to know the deficiency of food from any of the five food groups food guide pyramid the usda united states department of agriculture introduced the food guide pyramid in 1992 to successfully create a balanced diet for an individual this pyramid plays a major role in compiling a diet which is very advantageous and finally leads to health promotion in all aspects principles of balance can be incorporated into individual diets and also variety and moderation can be included in the below made food guide pyramid sugar and oil milk and meat pulses fruits and vegetables cereals the menu and the food service operation menu a menu is simply defined as a specific order of dishes which are prepared to be served to a guest at a given meal bill of fare it is a means of communication which informs the guest about all the dishes which caterer has to offer menu compiling and its planning is one of the important tasks whether it is related to the profit making tool for hotels or restaurants or for budget operations such as hospitals and schools functions of the menu contributes in finding out the staff needs the variation of dishes increases and thus the number of workers increases production staff service staff back of the house staff menu helps in deciding the food preparation techniques and the supportive equipment needs menu is like a price list or list of wares to the guest in order that the purchases or the dishes of his choice which he orders food cost and portion size are regulated with the help of menu as it acts as a factor for cost control procedure 
various purchase description may be clearly stated in the menu. It sometimes gives the description of each dish in brief so that the customer knows the content of the dish and what to expect while ordering a dish. It helps as a tool for the kitchen in order to carry out daily mise en place and what equipments are required for it. Types of menu Menus are broadly classified into various types. They are table de hot, fixed price menu. It literally means table of the host or from the host's table. It includes a few courses mentioned with their price beside it and the price of this menu is fixed by the management. This menu has a large variety of dishes which is offered to the guest by the restaurant. A la carte, it is a list which consists of all the dishes which is within the resources of a kitchen. In this menu, the dishes are individually priced and the consumer has the freedom to choose his or her dishes in the course and it can also have more than two to three courses from the prescribed menu. It literally means from the card. Each dish is marked separately for their pricing and the guest is charged individually for each dish he orders. A guest has a varied choice of dishes to choose from. Each dish can be matched with different wines and cheese and guests can relish the same. Banquet menus. These are the menus which are specially designed for banquet functions. Pricing is not set individually for each dish, but the menu is priced as a whole. Fixed menus. A single menu which is fixed for many days to come. Combination. It is a compilation of table de hot and a la carte menu. It is especially designed very carefully by the restaurant management team. Cyclic menu. It is designed to give guest a wow factor. If a guest is staying for more than two or three days, then cyclic menus are introduced to give them a choice in menu selection. It can be charged daily or monthly. Plat de jour. It is a menu which consists of dishes which are signature dishes of a chef or hotel and are also called as speciality of the day. Menu are also served on different meal timings of the day. They are basically characterized as breakfast, pate de junaire. It is considered as the most vital meal of the day and gives the body to work all day as it helps to maintain the metabolism of the body. Lunch, luncheon, dejeuner. This major meal is served during the afternoon time and has dishes which are lighter than the dinner menu. This meal is usually preferred between 1 pm to 3 pm. Brunch. It is a menu which is usually served between breakfast and lunch. Many hotels serve brunch on Sunday. High tea. It is a light meal which is usually served between 4 pm to 6 pm. Light sandwiches, snacks and tea is served. Dinner or diner. This is the main meal of the day which is served between 7 pm to 11 pm. More elaborate menus including steaks, roasts, chicken etc. are served during dinner hours. Elevenses. It is a menu which includes light refreshments, usually tea or coffee. It is taken during morning hours, preferably at 11 o'clock. Supper. It is the main evening meal which is eaten before dinner and can be used to describe a light snack. What is menu planning? Menu planning can be simply defined as a process which involves high application of food knowledge, nutrients, composition, food habits, and taste of the people, which are finally required to plan a menu, which is wholesome. Basic rules of planning a menu. Rules. Know your customer. Food choice, price, age. 
ऑपरेशन नॉलेज थीम और क्यूजीन इक्विपमेंट पर्सनल क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स बजट सिलेक्शन ऑफ वेरियस मेन्यू आइटम्स मेन्यू इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इनटू वेरियस टाइप्स एपेटाइजर्स सैलेड्स आंत्रेज स्टार्च आइटम्स पोटैटो फेरिनेशियस डिशेस वेजिटेबल्स डिजर्ट्स बेवरेजेस बैलेंसिंग ऑफ मेन्यू बिजनेस बैलेंस बैलेंस बिटवीन फूड कॉस्ट मेन्यू प्राइसेस पॉपुलैरिटी ऑफ आइटम्स फाइनेंशियल एंड मार्केटिंग कंसिडरेशन एस्थेटिक बैलेंस कलर्स टेक्सचर्स फ्लेवर्स ऑफ फूड न्यूट्रिशनल बैलेंस एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मेन्यू कार्ड हेडिंग्स एपेटाइजर सूप्स आंत्रेज सब हेडिंग्स अंडर आंत्रे स्टेक सी फूड टूडेज स्पेशल डिस्क्रिप्टिव कॉपी डिस्क्राइबिंग द मेन्यू डिशेस शुड बी बिलीवेबल एंड मेड इन शॉर्ट इजी टू रीड सेंटेंसेस no description is needed for self explanatory item that is low fat milk supplemental merchandising copy includes information such as the place of the company and its contact details working hours of the organization items served at a particular time table reservation system payment policies of the outlet history theme and goodwill of the restaurant a detailed statement which consist all the commitments made by the management to the guest service menu pricing subjective pricing the reasonable price method it is generally made from the guest perspective and is planned on charges which are fair and unbiased the highest price method the manager in this case sets the highest price that he thinks the customer will be able to pay without any objections for a particular dish the loss tender price method in this pricing method the management sets prices of some dishes a bit lower than the average price range of the outlet this is generally done to attract a set of customers and to recover losses if any the intuitive price method in this method the management opts out for a hit and trail scheme and sets the price of the dishes in the menu desired food cost percentage pricing method the outlet manager determines a reasonable cost percentage by extensive surveys then the manager divides a menu items standard food cost by its reasonable food cost percent with the below mentioned formula selling price equals to $1.50 item standard food cost divided by dollar 0.33 desired food cost percentage equals to dollar 4.55 profit pricing factors profit requirement and non food expenses into menu item selling prices allowable food cost equals to dollar 3 lakh forecasted food sale minus dollar 1 lakh 89000 non food expenses minus dollar 15000 profit requirement equals to dollar 96000 budgeted food cost percentage equals to dollar 96000 divided by dollar 3 lakhs allowable food cost forecasted sale food sale equals to 32% competition and pricing one should thoroughly know its competitors menu the prices quoted in this menu and the guest preferences that he successfully delivers reducing prices to a level accepted by everyone in the market and organization 
earn sustainable profit in a continuous day-to-day -day service. The outlet should have elastic demand and should be easily molded according to the current market trend without high investment. Elastic, the change in price leads to noticeable change in percentage of the quantity demanded. Price sensitive, in elastic, the percentage demanded has changed very negligibly as compared to the percentage change of the price of the menu item or vice versa. The menu, the foundation of control, guest contentment, standard operation activities, control points, service, menu planning, purchasing, receiving, storing, issuing, preparing, cooking, holding, then service. These are all production activities. The areas where the menu influences and creates an impact. Product control procedures. Every item that is enlisted in the menu should clearly represent a product to be controlled. Cost control procedure. The cost control procedures should be strictly adhered to when the management is dealing with very costly products and highly skilled and highly performing labor. Production requirement. The quality of the final product, the staff yield capacity and timing and each function has to be performed and should be clearly enlisted in the menu. Equipment needs. As equipments are considered as a capital investment and they play the most vital role in preparation of the final product, so one should choose equipments by thoroughly going throughout the menu. Sanitation management. When planning, management should always include stuff which has very light or almost negligible sanitation hazards. Layout and space requirement. As one plans the layout of the outlet, he should be aware for the minimum and maximum space requirements of the outlet. Back areas, face of the outlet, washing areas, kitchen areas, etc. Staffing needs. Check with the capabilities of the service staff that whether they are capable of handling complex menus or not and recruit accordingly. Sales income control procedures. One should have very stiff and very stringent controlling methods if they are displaying up a complex menu and should prepare more thoroughly than the preparation needed for smoothly running a simple menu. Menu planning is also a tool for sales. It helps the department to tell the description of the product they are willing to sell to the consumer. Advertising. The helps in promoting and marketing of the outlet so it is known by as much population possible. Merchandising. They should decide pricing on the basis of target market, expected quality of the product and the service and ambience of the outlet. Marketing tool. Continuously work hard to achieve the desired targets and to work even for performing out on management's expectations. Factors affecting menu planning. External factors that influence menu changes, consumer demands, the current items in demand should be included so that one is able to make more profits. Economic conditions, the total cost, fixed equal to variable, should be determined in advance so that there is minimum risk of losses of the outlet. Competition. One should clearly know what is their competition. Competitors' prices, quotations, so to attract strata and cut down competitors' sales 
and increases self profits supply levels management should always check the seasonal availability of items required their price in the market and the new demands of the market industry trends how the industrial sector respond to the various changes in the demands of the consumers internal factors that influence menu changes facility meal patterns variation in menus meal periods is a major point of concern concept and theme the concept and the theme of the restaurant should blend excellently with the cuisine of the restaurant and the type of food served operational system the cost and the volume of the capital should be clearly specified so that there is no failure in extraordinary service of the new menu items factors affecting menu planning price range no repetition of colors and flavor types of establishment types of customer and age group location religious rules meat or non meat preferences time of the year time of the day sensible nutritional balance appropriate language number of sources availability of suppliers production and service staff the availability and capacity of both competition space and equipment menu engineering definition it is a tool used by the modern day managers and chefs to analyze the different aspects such as profitability and popularity of dishes in the menu it is also a very important tool in making pricing decisions and modifying recipe design keeping in mind what guest wants menu engineering helps to control the food cost in an organization the drawback of menu engineering is that it does not completely substitute proper purchasing of raw materials proper rotation of the food amongst various stages in preparation of the final dish traditional standard recipe or any other kitchen activity which can negatively impact cost and incurred menu engineering grid a graph can be formulated so as to show all the menu items and can be plotted with an excess of popularity margin and profitability percentage as shown below popularity against profitability plow horse dog star puzzle plow horse high popularity low contribution margin star high popularity high contribution margin dog low contribution margin low popularity puzzle high contribution margin low popularity improvising the bill of fare managing plow horses items upscale in popularity and low in contribution to the margin of the outlet taking prices a bit higher cautiously assessment of current demand of the product in the market if the dish is less preferred then we should reshuffle it in the menu to the lower category working in a way so we can shift the current demand to more advisable items making a combination of both high and low cost products employing more of direct labor to ensure smooth flow of work considerably reducing the portion size so that profits and customer satisfaction go hand in hand improvising menu so it ultimately helps in managing the puzzles menu items which are not very popular among consumers getting considerable margins to the firm try to shift the demand of consumers to such items consider to increase price of demand to a lower level to attract a set of individuals 
and cut the competitor's market. Add value and innovation to the item being prepared and make it differentiated amongst competitors. Improvising the menu, managing stars, which are the speciality of the outlet. Menu items, which are very popular among consumers, getting a considerable margins to the firm. Maintain strict and stringent specifications. Prominently highlight it in the menu. Making selling price of the product in elastic. Selling technique should be improvised time to time. Improvising the menu, managing dogs. Menu items which are very less popular among consumer and give less margins to the firm. Consider replacing the item with referring current market trend. Try and upsell the item by selling it free with dishes and keeping the same item in happy hours. Increase the price of item and status to puzzle. Concept of food pairing. In today's dynamic world, a new trend is seen by the hotelier in and around the world in which the guest asks for separate wine menu in order to pair their food with it. Food and wine pairing. Food and wine pairing is a complex process in which certain foods are paired with certain wines, basically so they both complement each other. Nowadays, the old saying red wine with red meat is no longer into existence and it is the current trends that have marked a new milestone in food and wine pairing. The wine pairing these days do not have any hard and fast rules. The only basic principle that is to be followed while pairing food with wine is the both the food and the wine which are consumed during a meal should not overpower each other, rather they should make the consumer feel that one thing is incomplete without the other and one completes the other whether be the wine or the food item that is being consumed. As we all know, the taste of wine while consumed alone differs from the taste when it is consumed up with food. This is because of a simple reason that the acids, tannins and sugars present in both things react with each other to give different tastes, sensations to the taste buds present on the human tongue. Wine can sometimes be responsible in enhancing the flavors of the food. Memorable food and wine pairing is achieved when you find similarities and or contrasts of flavor, body, texture, intensity and taste. Below discussed are some of the rules that should be followed while pairing wine with food. When the course includes more than one wine, light bodied wines should be served first and then the full bodied wines, the sweet wines should be served after dry wines, provided a sweet flavored dish is served earlier in the meal courses. Balancing the intensity of the flavor, pair light bodied wines with lighter food and fuller bodied wines with heartier, more flavorful, richer and fattier dish. Dear students, let's summarize. After studying this module, we can clearly make out that once the food looks attractive, it is relished by the people even more. A blend which complements each other, well, makes the food more enjoyable to eat and the consumer becomes a frequent visitor to the restaurant. A well-planned and operated menu which is nutritionally adequate would have a good food value. So this proves that a menu is heart and soul 
of any food and beverage establishment. In this module, we have learnt about the various food group and what are the nutritional benefits of various food commodities. As it is a vast topic, I have tried to compile the various concepts of menu and the types of menu along with the factors influencing menu planning. A menu is important tool for control and we have learnt about the menu engineering and how it helps in menu planning. We have also learnt about the food and wine pairing Food and cheese pairing does allow us to have a better understanding of the topic. Thank you.